Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So for the past hour and a half, I've just been laying in bed. It's already like 12.30 and I woke up at 11. I slept at like 5.30 this morning because I've been editing all night and uploading it to YouTube so I could schedule. It took like an hour and almost two hours basically. So I'm tired and I figured doing my makeup will help wake me up. So I'm gonna show you my whole makeup routine from like to the bone and yeah, let's get started on this. Okay, first things first, we're gonna put my hair up and we're gonna wash my face. So right now I am using the Naturium Niacinamide Cleanser. I use this day and night. I do kind of want to find a more hydrating cleanser in the mornings because I just feel like my skin just needs a little more hydration. I mean, this has some hydration properties to it, but it still is kind of a gel foaming cleanser. I would like to find something a little more hydrating for my skin, especially right now that it's winter time. I'm just trying to keep it as hydrated as possible. After I get done with washing my face and drying it, since I am going to be leaving the house today, I'm going to put on my SPF. And this is the Sunsibel SPF I've been. This is like my third bottle. I should buy another one because I think I am running out of this one. This is actually what it looks like and I just focus all over my face but especially areas like where I have my pigmentation I definitely slather a lot on right there and my shirt says it all for today okay so this is my skin with the sunscreen on and I am going to let this sit for a little bit so after I put my sunscreen on I'll let it sit for a bit and this is the time when I went with my bee sponge and this is the Morphe sponge I like their sponges so I'm just gonna wet this one also guys if you use a sponge always clean it like every time I use my sponge I will clean it this is the blender cleanser actually and Every single time, I'll make sure I cleanse my sponge because they can harbor bacteria, which can cause acne and a lot of things. So if you're prone to acne, clean your sponge. These are all the products that I use. I am very minimal when it comes to makeup and also includes my setting powder. And the brushes that I use, these are the only brushes that I use, just three brushes, maybe four, depending if I wanna like remove some excess powder off of my face. But really, I just need like my bronzer brush, highlighter brush, and just my foundation brush. This is my RMS Cover Foundation. I am in the shade 22, and I put very little of this on my face, like the tiniest amount, which is, this much. This is how much I put on my face always and I just put it in the back of my hand. I get my little foundation brush and I will just put it all over my face. Like this is how little makeup I put on. I don't like to add a lot because my skin gets cakey easily. So this is why I'm very minimal with my makeup because my face just can't handle a lot of makeup. I'm gonna need a compact mirror for this to see. All right, this is how my skin looks. And very natural, you can still see my skin underneath. And then what I'll do now is I will go in my blender and just like blend it out just to make sure there are no rough edges or edges that just needs to be blended even more. And then next, I will go with concealer and I am using the Kosas concealer. This is in the shade 3.5 and I used to use the Josie Marin concealers. I used to be in between like two shades. I think it was fair and light I was in between. So I used those together. So with this one, I just put three dots underneath my eyes just like this and then I'll blend it out. Okay, once that is blended out, I will go straight into my powder. I'm using the Honest Beauty Loose Powder, setting powder. And I always, because my eyes tend to crease underneath, I always like to 
squint my eyes like this. It's just my way. And I would instantly put powder underneath my eye so that it can set it and help prevent those lines from creasing. So even though I don't put a lot of powder on my under eyes, this is technically my term of baking because my under eye needs time to set. And then what I'll do is whatever's left in the beauty blender will go everywhere on my face, like especially my T-zone area. I don't get oily anymore like I used to years ago, but I still like to set that area and the rest will just go anywhere else on my face. Now I will go in with doing my brows and I do not fill in my brows a lot, just very sparsely because my brows are basically good. It's just mostly like the tips right here. I just extend a little bit. So really I'll just do very light strokes just right here that you can barely notice. And then this area right here is where I kind of like extend the tip a little bit like that if you even notice anything. And then to clean up like this tip area, I'll just use my fingertips and just kind of shape it a little bit. And then I'll go on with the other side, doing the exact same thing, just barely coloring it in. And then I'll definitely give myself like a little tip area. Here are what my brows look like. And then next, after that, oh, by the way, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Ebony. I love this thing, but I don't know if they're gluten-free, so I'm gonna have to do my research on that. But I'm almost done with it anyways. This has lasted me like a year. This is like the end already. Honestly, I wanna say more than a year because I really don't buy brow pencils often at all. And I still have this, so I'll say like a year and a half. It's been used and still good. Next, I will go on with a bronzer. So the bronzer I am using is the Honest Beauty Bronzer. This is in the shade Dusk Reflection and this is the only shade they have in like a bronzer. And then they have like a highlighter shade, that's about it. So with this one, I'll just use this brush and just kind of sweep it on and put it on my cheek area. And then I'll do it again for the other side. But when it comes to bronzer for me, I will definitely take the time to blend it out because for me, on my face, it tends to look patchy for some reason, especially on this side. Like this side's fine. It's this side that always has a problem. So I take my time blending out my bronzer, but I'll, also, I'll put on my cheeks. I put like whatever's left over on my forehead and just like under my chin, but there's like barely any product left. Next, what I do is my lashes. So I always curl my lashes and I always use waterproof mascara. Like this is a must. I always have to have waterproof mascara because no matter what, my lashes will fall straight. I have straight Asian lashes that just will not hold a curl unless it's waterproof. So I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And what I do is I curl my lashes and then apply two coats of that on. I would say out of all of my makeup routine steps, curling my lashes is the longest step I take with. It just has to be perfect when I curl my lashes. I'm very picky. These are how my lashes look before. And then let me show you the after. This is what one lash looks with this mascara compared to this one. I always go with two coats though, so I'm gonna coat my other lash. And voila, this is my lashes. And lastly, I would just go in with the highlighter and just stick it on my cheeks. Just giving my cheeks a little shine. This highlighter is not beaming, which is what I like. I like a very subtle, natural highlighter. And that's why I like Honest Beauty products. They're very natural and you can't really go overhand. I mean, you technically can, but you just gotta keep adding more to go overhand with them. Whereas this is just very natural. And that's it. This is all of my makeup routine. I would put on lipstick, which is gonna be the same one that I showed you yesterday, which is the Lawless Beauty Lip Liner and then the Terrium Lip Gloss. However, I'm going to be eating, so that's why I'm not even gonna put on lip gloss, but this is my makeup look. This is how it is, very natural, and 
this is just how I like it. All right, so uh, we made a quick stop at Smoothie King. I had to get a little smoothie. I got the banana boat and I added some peanut butter. It's pretty good. I haven't had Smoothie King in a good while. And then this is on the phone with Amazon. Best Buy. Oh, she's on the phone with Best Buy. She's price matching with Amazon. Uh, so she bought some SD cards because the one she was using yesterday almost made her lose her content. And it's happened before. It made me lose my content when I did my video a few months back which was very unfortunate because it was something that could not be redone but anyway hopefully the problem doesn't continue uh, with these new sd cards if it does then we know it's the camera and we'll have to go and get another camera but anyway stay tuned soon we're about to move this bed or at least i'm about to move the bed out here and i'm gonna go get the other bed and hopefully i can turn it into a taco like i did this one and fit it in the back here save us a couple hundred bucks yeah we have to get a u-haul u-haul yeah they're That's not cheap same. They're really not. But anyway, stay tuned for that. We are currently trying to figure out how to put the new bed in the car because it's actually bigger than we thought. And that's a big one. And it will not fold. <sighs> I'm gonna turn this bitch into a taco, yo. What do you mean? Got the tape. We got it in guys, or shall I say, Joey got it in. Hey, I checked with Tempur-Pedic and they did say you can fold the mattress for a little bit, but just not too long. So we're just gonna rush to the house, get it unloaded and put it on the bed. And then we got these uh, covers as well for the mattresses. And uh, yeah, pretty cool, let's go. Green light, red light, green light. Ha, <laughs> bang. It's <laughs> According to these stoplights, it is. So, Dennis is driving home. I don't know how she's gonna be able to see uh, with this big old thing in the back, but uh, she's using her side mirrors. I honestly, when I drive, I use the rear view mirror a lot. Like, I mean, a lot. So, it's kind of taking a lot for me right now to not look at it. So, I'm just using my side view mirrors, and I have a blind spot this thing back here. A lot of blind spots. I like the tile. I don't have issues. Now if it had blind spot sensors on it, I think it would be better. But this car doesn't have blind spot indicators unfortunately. It has like everything else. But I will. But it's almost dark so we're trying to get home while there's still daylight out. Gotta go get one more mattress, one more trip and uh, we'll be done for the day. So stay tuned for that. Currently right now it is 11.13 and we are at Jack in the Box waiting in line because Joey's hungry. We've been in the car basically all day. Actually we have my mom's all day but we've been driving back and forth bringing mattresses to our house and back over there. So basically earlier we brought a mattress from our house to my mom's. We got a mattress from there which is a king size. But to our house, from our house we brought our old king size bed to my mom's and then this one back here is a queen size that we're bringing to our house so today has just been a back and forth driving hanging out with my mom joey is a big trooper he did all the hard work and we didn't even need a u-haul so we saved money there besides gas <laughs> but anyways yeah joey's hungry and we're just waiting in line jack-in-the-box water burger was busy mcdonald's was busy burger king he wanted but they're doing a shift change so we came here at jack-in-the-box 30 minute shift change we left the line of Jack in the Box because we've been staying there for about 20 minutes and we only moved one car lane. So scratch that. Whataburger is not the longest fast food line. It's probably Jack in the Box or they're probably tied. But we're These back at Burger tied. King. 
and we're at the gas station just like waiting 10 more minutes because they said their shift change is about like 30 minutes or so so we got like 10 more minutes to just chill and we actually got a good lighting here wow. or decent lighting yeah where do we end up going in the end babe what where do we end up going jack in the box <laughs> i got jack in the box guys they were still doing the shift change after 45 minutes what all did you get I don't remember. I got everything. The guy kept lot. saying, the guy kept saying, what else? And I was like, all right, this. He's like, what else? And I was like, this. He's like, what else? And I was like, this. Did that about seven times. <laughs> the guy really didn't do that. And then I was like, Shh, shows how much you know. I can eat a lot. And he can keep pressing that button, adding the food, so. And then Joey's over here like, oh, you can eat the chicken nuggets. Never mind, take it out. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, I'm good on the chicken nuggets. After the four or five burgers, I said we cut it off at the nuggets. It's 11.50 guys and I still haven't edited none of my videos for today and it's going to be a long night again. Last night I slept actually this morning. I slept at 5, 5.30 in the morning. Woke up at 11 and then tonight probably might be the same. Uh, probably might sleep in tomorrow or even longer so. I was just really craving the Texas waffle for some reason. I think it's because it had jalapenos in it and I tell them to add an extra piece of meat so it's a triple meat burger. I've never them. had it. And that's how I'm no bacon. Gotta watch my cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we cut it off. We'll have three meats, no problem. But as soon as you add the bacon in, whoa, slow down, cut that out. Alright guys, so currently it is... 2.34 in the morning and I'm ending this vlog. I have to end it and then I should be done for the night. Then I gotta upload it, schedule it for later on today. And then I'm currently doing our bed sheets, so gotta wait for that as well. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching our day two. It was adventure today and I will see you for tomorrow's video. Bye!